At Slate Digital, our goal is to create musical tools that will make your mixes sound the best they ever have, and to also make tools that are intuitive, easy, and help your workflow. We've tackled both of these points with the new Custom Series Parallel Lift Processor. Let's talk about it. At first glance, the lift looks like a straightforward two-knob processor, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes. The lift has two analog modeled parallel filter networks that lift the top end of the frequency spectrum and the low end of the frequency spectrum in an incredibly musical and natural way. The goal with lift was to make the effect so cohesive and transparent and yet with the custom analog modeled harmonic output stages, the sound is lively and deep. With lift, you can easily manipulate the source to sound how you want it without it sounding overly affected or unnatural. The high lift has two settings, one called present, which focuses the effect on the mid frequencies and silky, which focuses a bit more on the higher frequencies. Low lift also has two settings, big, which is broad, hefty, and universally increases the mass of your low end and punchy, which is a more focused and punchy sounding boost, which is amazing on percussive material. Both sections are the result of thorough research and study of some of the industry's top analog designs. The reason that Lyft has been called such a beast by our beta team is because you'll find that a lot of material can be processed perfectly using just one or both of these Lyft processes. You'll also find that by using lift at the beginning of your chain, your tracks will start taking shape fast and you'll need less processing and further EQ down the road. And finally, lift can fix problematic tracks in a way that makes them sound like they've never had a problem at all. Okay, so let's hear it in action. Okay, so for my first custom lift example, I'm gonna demonstrate how I can enhance and fix a full mix. First, let's take a listen to the mix without any processing. Give a little bit, show me a sign if you're so sweet and kind. Okay, so this mix sounds good, but man, it needs a little bit more clarity on the top end. And it's a rock mix, so we need some more bigness on the low end. So the custom lift will take care of that really easily with just its two processes. So for the high lift, we're going to use some present. And for the low lift, we're going to use some big. Okay, let's try it. So now this sounds really great. The clarity of the top end is there. The low end is big and punchy. And overall, it doesn't sound overly EQ'd. It still sounds extremely natural. So let's do some ABs. So that's a great example of how you can use custom lift with a full mix. It really can fix some problems without sounding too overbearing. Now let's take a listen to a dry snare track with no processing. So that snare sounds really good, but we want to add some more bite, some more punch, some more impact, some more sizzle. We want to make it pop out of the mix. So of course we're going to use the custom lift, but we're also going to use two other modules in the virtual mix rack, the Revival and the FG401 compressor. Now to start off with the lift, we're going to use the present in the high lift, and we're going to use punchy in the low lift. Let's start off with that. Here we go. already sounding worlds better. Now, if you think of the lift as paint, think of Revival as polish. So the polish is gonna come from the shimmer. We're gonna add some little bits of sizzle and a little more depth and impact, and we'll add a little bit of warmth from the thickness. Here we go. And that's all it needs. 
And then finally with the FG401, this is an amazing snare compressor. We're going on the slowest attack, kind of a medium release, and we'll just give a little bit of compression to add a little bit more weight and body and punch. So that sounds really awesome. That's a great snare sound. Let's do an AB. And there you go. Now let's take a listen to this acoustic guitar track with no processing. So this acoustic was not recorded very well. The mic was probably too close to the sound hole. It's very muddy, very boomy, and lacks detail. So we're going to use two processors in the virtual mix rack to fix it. The first is our custom series equalizer, and of course the second is the custom series lift. Now with the EQ, we're going to attenuate that mud with the 200 hertz attenuation here, and then we're going to use the high pass to get rid of some of the boominess. Then we'll use custom lift to add some presence and a little bit of the big process. Here we go. So that sounds fantastic now. We really salvaged that guitar sound. It's got detail. We got rid of all that mud and boom. And just as a little final process, we're going to add revival. And we're going to polish up that top end with the shimmer. Take a listen. And that sounds amazing. Let's do a final AB. This is going to be big. One more time. And there you go. The Custom Series Lift is a true workhorse processor that will come in handy more than you'll ever imagine. Its rich analog sound is natural and cohesive, and it can help you mix faster and more intuitively. Try it today at SlateDigital.com, and happy mixing.